Hi, my name is Alistair Lee. In this short video, I'm going to take a look at a new feature of Adobe Connect 9.2 that allows customers to register and log in to Adobe Connect events using their social profile. Up on the screen here, I've got an event speaker page and registration page for an event I created with Adobe Connect. You can see as I scroll down, I'm able to register the traditional way by supplying my email address, first and last name, creating a brand new password, and filling out the rest of the registration questions. But I've also got these two new buttons that allow me to take advantage of the fact that I've already got a lot of this information in my social profiles like Facebook and Google+. So in this case, I'm simply going to click on the Facebook button to register for this event using my Facebook profile. Just enter my password, log into Facebook, and then Facebook can send out information that's in my public profile back to Adobe Connect. And you can see that I'm just about ready to complete my registration. Now because Facebook doesn't know my investment objective, which is one of the registration questions on this event, I need to continue filling out the rest of the information. In this case, it's just a single question. I'll go ahead and answer that and submit this registration to Adobe Connect. And that's really all there is to it. I've now just registered for this event using my Facebook profile. It means I don't have to remember a brand new password when it comes to logging into the event. I can simply use the same button to log in. Let me show you how I set this up as an event manager. Before an event manager can actually take advantage of this feature, it does need to be enabled on your account. To do that, you'll need your administrator for Adobe Connect to go into Administration, and then over to Users and Groups, and select Edit Login and Password Policies. This screen has actually changed pretty significantly in Adobe Connect 9.2. You'll notice that we can make sure passwords expire after a certain number of days, that they require specific characters, that we can prevent the reuse of old passwords, for example. Down at the bottom, the last options apply to this new feature around using social logins for events. I can select this, it's off by default, and select either Facebook and or Google. You may see more in the future. Once those are selected, event managers can take advantage of that in their events. I'm going to go ahead and look at an existing event, but the same thing would apply to new events. I'm going to click on this Annuities Explained event, it was the event that we were looking at, and click on the Edit button. And as I scroll down, you'll notice this new option in Adobe Connect 9.2, Register with Social Profiles. This allows me to enable or disable the feature and select which social profiles I'd like to include as part of the registration options. Once that's done, all I need to do is go down to the bottom and hit Save. And I've got my event now able to use social profiles for both registration and login. That's a quick look at the new social login feature of Adobe Connect 9.2. Thanks for your time.